My grandparents were refugees. They came to America as survivors of the Armenian Genocide. That's my history. That's my story. Dad was a journalism professor and a talented photographer. He encouraged me to pursue a career in filmmaking and journalism. He knew if I wanted to make a difference in the world, I'd probably need to leave L.A. I chose London. After graduating from the LSC with a PhD in international politics, I started making documentaries for the UK's Channel 4 and then for the BBC. Later, I found out what it was like to be on the other side of the camera, and the BBC found its first American news anchor. The international news follows in a few moments. Then suddenly I was back in the field, with new technology and less obtrusive cameras, I was making documentaries in war zones like Chechnya and reclusive countries like North Korea. I tracked a woman who'd been killed by the Taliban in Afghanistan. <laughs> Students fighting for their lives in Iran, even a mercenary coup in Africa. A colleague told me I was covering every country on George Bush's evil axis. Either I was a journalist or a spy. But to be absolutely honest, um, making a documentary about a heavy metal rock band, about um, every horrible genocide you could come up with in the last century, I think that was probably the biggest challenge I've had in my career. The first genocide of the 20th century. The Armenian Holocaust. If America is not prepared to recognize the murder of a million and a half people, why should Turkey? It's time to break down all the walls of hypocrisy around the world. Fire! It's got to be taught in all schools. Otherwise, you have more genocide. We did not call these crimes by their rightful name, genocide. I think we should all be screamers. Opens in theaters December 8th. Screamer is a term about people who try to raise the alarm about genocide while it's happening. I call myself a screamer, and that makes me sound like a woman you, you don't want to bump into in the middle of the night, and, <laughs> or maybe you do. But I think we have to be outraged, and we have to say enough is enough. It's our responsibility. It's not enough to just say, okay, politicians aren't making the right choices. They represent us. I left home 20 years ago. The journey has taken me here to this unique point of influence. Along the way, I've lost colleagues, friends, and dad. He was right. I did need to leave home to see the world in order to have any hope of changing it. Your generation was served. My generation shall.